this man. You, hey, you would never cheat on him? Never. Huh? Wait, what'd you ask? You would you ever cheat on him? Yeah, I would, but he wouldn't. Whoa. Because... Your girl ever say something like, baby's hey, just a friend. Eh, that's hilarious to me. There are no such thing as guy friends. He either tried and failed to get with her or he is still trying. And having guys like that around is plain disrespectful to you and the relationship. And don't let her tell you any different because you know how guys think. She doesn't. Hit that plus and follow me for more. Red flag number seven is when she has guy friends. There's some rare scenarios where like a guy and a girl are old childhood friends and there's legitimately no sexual tension between them. But almost always when a guy and a girl are friends, there's some degree of sexual tension. And even if the girl's not interested in the guy, a lot of times the guy has been friend zoned and he's just like hanging around to see if he gets an opportunity down the line. And if you're talking to a girl and you notice that she regularly hangs out one-on-one -on -one or even just texts one-on-one -on -one with other guys, she likes the validation. Those guys are waiting to swoop in if they can. And a lot of times like girls that have a lot of guy friends, they have one foot out the door in a relationship and they have like a lineup waiting for like, oh, if this relationship ends, it's okay because I have all these other guys that are interested in me. And then she never even fully invests into the relationship with you in the first place. How many guy friends you got? Zero, but I'm friends with a lot of your friends. That's different though. Like if I would want my girlfriend or my wife to be friends with my friends, it'd be weird if she wasn't. She has male friends, male friends that she hangs out with without you, particularly single male friends, but I'm gonna say all male friends. She has male friends. She hangs out with them without you. You're not invited. She has those private conversations with them without you present. And she wants them to remain like uh, kind of like alone time. This is hard to swallow. Either that guy's the backup or you are. I'm telling you straight up, it doesn't work like that. And it's a sign of disrespect, frankly, I think, to, to behave that way. Once you're in a relationship, certain dynamics have to change. They have to change. And that's one of them. Many women have red flags that will ruin a man's life. If you are overconfident and think it can't happen to you, you are a fool. Listen. It doesn't matter how sweet and beautiful a woman seems. The most beautiful things can be toxic. If you ignore the red flags or are too cocky to learn about them, you will pay the price in the future. We will go over eight red flags every man should be aware of. Number one, male friends. When a woman has male friends, it's time to bounce. A lot of people will call you jealous or insecure for this. Do not listen to them. Women, and feminized men particularly, do not understand what is wrong with this. The reason being is that many of them do not understand the male and female dynamic or pretend they don't. It is truly pathetic. In any other time of history, you would never let your woman be friends with a tribe of men. Can you imagine leaving your wife behind with her so-called male friends that are full of testosterone? It is only in the modern world that people will pretend sexual tension does not exist. They pretend male and female nature isn't a thing. Ask yourself this, what are the benefits of any man having female friends? There are no benefits. The only reason these so-called male friends stay around is because they wait for the moment she allows the slightest opening for sexual activity. The moment that happens, you will see the mask fall off as they turn into a hungry hyena. As for the woman, there are tons of benefits of having male friends. They can fix things for her, pay for her, and protect her. It is a game some women play, getting all the benefits out of the fake friendship without giving anything in return. The reality is that sooner or later, she will let her guard down and something sexual is bound to happen. Do not let the modern world fool you into thinking men and women are the same. Male and female dynamics are a very real thing. Just notice how the entire atmosphere changes when a girl walks in a room full of guys. Number 2. Daddy Issues We have all seen girls with daddy issues and it never looked good. When a girl does not have a masculine father figure in her life, she will look for that in other men. Because she doesn't know what that masculine love looks like, she will get used by guys that don't respect her. She doesn't even respect herself. There are some girls that lack the father figure and didn't go down this path with other guys. 
they might actually have self-respect, but the red flag still remains. Why? They haven't seen how their mother respected her father. Because she hasn't been taught how to respect a strong masculine figure, there is a big chance she will not know how to properly respect you. There are always exceptions to the rule, but more often than not, it is better to find a girl that has a good relationship with her father and looks up to him. Number 3. Sexual Past No man wants a woman that has a high body count. The modern and feminized world will tell you that you are insecure for this, but it is a universal feeling. Every man will feel a sense of disgust no matter how they try to shame you for it. Why? Women must preserve their value while men must create their value. Every woman could go around and sleep with different guys. There is nothing admirable about that, but it would destroy her innate value. There have been studies done that show that the more sexual partners a woman has had, the more difficult it becomes for her to bond and form a deep connection with a man. It is as if they become emotionally damaged. The reality is that we don't need to look at studies to know this. It is something that has always been understood since the beginning of time. Number 4. Promiscuous Friends she might not be the sweet and nice girl you imagine her to be. We are all the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Women are no different. If her friends are all promiscuous and hook up with a bunch of guys, you already know she does the same. If it is just one friend, you could decide to give her a chance and tell her to break contact with that friend. But even in that situation, will you have to keep that red flag in mind and always remain sharp to patterns? Now, if she has multiple friends that are promiscuous, that is a huge red flag. Never underestimate the influence of her friends. Number 5. Fangirl Can you imagine your girl going crazy because she wants to touch a rapper's shoes during a concert? Or her putting pictures of him everywhere? As with the other red flags we have covered, this one will give 99% of men a bad feeling. That feeling isn't there for no reason. It is because you know innately she is not supposed to worship another man like that. You could ignore the feeling because you think it's no big deal, or even allow yourself to get brainwashed by feminism. The fact still remains that she believes that other man to be better than you. If she had the opportunity to leave you behind and have his babies, she would forget about you in a heartbeat. Think about that for a second. She will run at him full speed just to take a picture. If that doesn't tell you she considers this man to be your superior, you are a blind man. Number 6. Mockery Most men let women mock them and don't take it serious enough. Here is the truth. The more disrespect you allow, the more frequent that disrespect will come your way. If she is mocking your goals, that is already a sign of disrespect you need to make sure never takes place ever again. The same with her raising her voice even slightly or throwing small insults around when she is angry. These things might seem small, but they are a big red flag. And if you don't root it out as early as possible, it will cost you in the future. Number 7. Center of Attention Nothing is worse than a woman that constantly wants to be noticed and watched by other people. If she constantly overtalks you or is louder than you, it is not only her trying to be the center of attention, but it is also her attempting to emasculate you. It is not a sign of femininity. A feminine woman knows how to be a player too. She knows how to sit in the driver's seat and listen instead of running her mouth and being loud. Number 8. Filthy Many beautiful women are only beautiful on the surface. Let me ask you, what does her room look like? How does she clean up after herself? Does she even clean herself frequently? Beauty on the outside can be deceiving. And truthfully, some of the most beautiful women can be the most dirty women too. Never forget that. 